next on NFL Game Pass Film Session. Like my coach, I always say, you don't want to go to a test and not study and think you're going to pass. Vikings cornerback Xavier Rhodes sits down with Brian Baldinger and Ron Jaworski. Well, all right, if I press and put my code in my iPad and just sit here and watch at least 30 minutes of film, I would, have, I would get all the answers to the quiz. Rhodes talks about what it means to be a true number one corner. And you travel. <laughs> and not every corner travels in this business. You get the team's best yes. every week. They see me off. They have like, all right, you know, we're going to help Xavier out. They see me press. They be like, all right, we're just going to let him be. The former All-Pro explains the importance of preparation. Come on, Larry! You know the route right now from this slot right here? Yep. I knew it was going to be a slant because they have Alvin outside. And then they realized the, uh, the linebacker was out there, so they knew it was man, man coverage. And how he can predict a receiver's route almost immediately. He's counting his steps. He is. How do you know? He's not exploding up the ball. Mm. The first three yards, for me, determines the route. Baldy, I, I, I'm so pumped. <laughs> yeah. I am so pumped for this film session mm -hmm. to have Xavier Rhodes with us. I mean, and the roads are closed. That's your, that's your mantra, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were a great high school athlete coming mm -hmm. out of Miami, Norland High School. Yes. You led the team in rushing. You lead it in receiving. But you also playing defensive back at the same time? No. So okay. when did you make this conversion? <laughs> and how did that And was that a, uh, something you wanted to do when you went to Florida State? No. I'm going to tell you the story. So I went to Florida State. I look, and I see 27. They say, Xavier Rose, Miami, Florida, wide receiver, number 27. So at the time, I say 27 not a bad num number because, <laughs> yeah. you know, one of my close friends, one of my good friends, Antonio Brown, was wearing yeah. 27 at receiver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love you, boy. Good today. Man. I'm looking around the locker room. I see Patrick Robinson. I see all these other corners, defensive backs. I'm like, this ain't right. So I go to the receiver side. I'm like... It's not receiver. I see 81, 87. I'm like, oh, no, I don't know now. <laughs> so I go, out to the, I go out to the field, and that's when I really found out that I was playing um, corner, and the coach stepped, pulled me to the side. He was like, you're a good receiver, but we feel like you'll be a, a better corner than a receiver. They didn't even tell wow. you. You didn't find out until you went to practice. So. Yes. Wow. Yeah. That's a shock. <laughs> Come on, Jameis. Jameis, you ain't talking to me yet. Let me go. You ain't talking. <laughs> Xavier, we want to get into this film session with you. And we, one of the reasons why we're so excited is you are a true number one corner. Mm -hmm. And you travel. <laughs> <laughs> and not every corner travels in this business. I mean, we can go through every team. Tampa, there's Mike Evans. Philadelphia, there's Alshon. We're going to go through them. Michael Thomas. <laughs> You play Green Bay, you get Devontae. You get the team's best <laughs> yes. every week. When you travel, okay, now that you do that pretty regularly, how does the defense adjust? Because they put these receivers in all these different mm -hmm. positions. So they're trying to get them in the slot on stacks, mm -hmm. out wide. So you, you're following them. Then how does everybody else adjust? They see me off. They'd be like, all right, you know, we're gonna help Xavier out because certain situation, there was certain coverage. They see me press, they'd be like, all right, we just gonna let him be. Honestly, you cannot cover a receiver any better than Rhodes just did on that play. Do you choose which receiver you can? Some teams have. Oh. How does that work? Or does Mike come in and say, uh, hey, you so got Alshon, you got Mike. It's, it's a story behind that. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a story. We love stories. There's a story it's behind that. So, <laughs> so, honestly, it was one year, it was against Calvin Johnson. That was the first receiver I was following. Okay. I'm watching film on all the receivers. I get a call from my, um, from my coach, from Jerry Gray, and he calls me like, hey, Xavier, um, I think it's Friday, you know, it's, it's Friday. He's like, hey, Xavier, uh, what you think about um, traveling? I'm like, um, what you mean, coach? <laughs> <laughs> what you mean about traveling? He's like, uh, because at that point, I'm like, nerd, traveling. <laughs> you, need to, you need to explain that, you know, give me some, some details. <laughs> so he's like, yeah, we're thinking about having you traveling. Um, Calvin Johnson. I'm 
Oh, uh, I wasn't ready for that one. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm up for the challenge. So that's, that was a guy, you know, me and I, growing up and also growing up and, and seeing him play, you know, you see him catching the pass over like three, four, five <laughs> defenders. Are you kidding me? Back and try it. Did it again. I'm going to be locked in with him all game. So in my mind, I'm like, oh, my God, it's going to be me and him <laughs> all game. Like, I'm nervous to the point where, like, you know what? I have the same ability as this guy. I'm at the same level as him. Why I'm giving him all this power over me? That's when I knew at that moment I'm able to do it. Did you feel, you know, the trust that the coaches had in you yeah, helped you get over it and yeah, they said, hey, you're a guy? Yeah. That brought a lot of faith now. I believed in myself after that. Back in the day when uh, Deion Sanders was just shutting people down, he would just take one guy, lock him down, mm -hmm. and the other ten would play cover everybody else. Field. This mm -hmm. That's it, play, cover, yeah. cover everybody else. Do you do a lot of that where you just say, I, I got him, lock him down? Yeah. I know going in that week, I have this one guy. Mm -hmm. and I have one job. Darrell Reeves said it the best. He said, I have the easiest but the hardest job. My job is just to cover one guy, that one guy in front of me, that's my one job. The hardest job because that's their best. best yeah. mm -hmm. But it's also it's the, it's the easiest job. You just have that one guy in front of you. You don't have to worry about anything else but the guy in front of you. Give us your top three toughest receivers. <sighs> Where you know you you got to be complete. Like it, you got to be faced like, them all, man. You, yeah. I mean, you, you got, see you them got all. the checklist of who they are. One, <laughs> Julio Jones. Julio. Do it. Yeah. Julio Jones, guy that can do it all. You have receivers that have certain routes. He don't have certain routes. You look at him, he runs every route in the tree. And also, they make new routes for him. <laughs> you know? A new tree. A new, yeah. new tree for Julio. <laughs> and also, you have Antonio Brown. Yeah. Same, same, same thing. They have their own route tree. Man, no, you know, you got that second foot down, bro. I got both of them. No, it ain't meant like it. I tried it. Ain't look, like you tried it like you. I just, Tony, you know, you know I'm Tony Tota. You know I'm Tota. And man, like we said, Devontae Adams, this guy is unbelievable. And I told him after the game, I say, I done seen you from the first time you got here to now. Yeah. Tremendous change. Yeah. Sending you. You improved your game so much. And I told him, I'm proud of you, bro. I love going against you. I know going in this game, I'm gonna have to get my stuff together. I know I'm gonna have to call my mom and my lady. <laughs> don't call my phone. I don't wanna talk to nobody. This is, I'm, I, I'm laser focused. I know I'm not trying to miss a second of anything. I wanna know if he put his right toe up, if he move his right foot. I wanna know, if, I wanna know what route is that. What these film sessions are about are, are teaching people and most Viewers don't get to see the all 22 like we break it down. Mm -hmm. And this is what you look at. I mean, you're every little clicker. I mean, you're gonna be breaking every little, every little thing down. Everything. How they come off the ball. Yes. So that communication through your film study is so important. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is, man. Because you need to know that. You need to know everything. You need to know every detail of the offense. Mm -hmm. Everything he do, the splits. How when when he move his hands, you know, when he turn his head a little too soon. They can't 13 the ball by having them stack. AJ Green. Oh. What's the book on AJ? Man, yes, AJ. I didn't think he was that quick or that fast. Mm. To be that tall. Really? Was this your first yeah. time you played him? Uh no, we we, we had a joint practice. Mm. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. I remember that joint, in Cincinnati. We had a joint practice. And I'm like, oh, this is a big guy. He's a normal big guy. He's, you know, tall. You gonna try to use his physicality or something against me? No. <laughs> Total opposite. Mm. Just run. He just run. He's pretty fast. We get in and out of his break, run great routes. Mm. I said, oh, okay, now I can't use my physicality. Now I got to use my technique with him. Sometimes I know when I go against a uh, prime example, I know when I go against Antonio Brown, I know when he's getting the ball. Mm. Mm. Well, not gonna get me slipping, big guy. I'm ready every play. <laughs> oh, yo. I'm about to score right here. I know when Julio Jones get the ball. Julio Jones come out the huddle. Oh, he, he coming out. Oh, da, 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 da. oh, it's a run play. You know? <laughs> you mean body, body language, language? Body language gives you an indicator yeah, of run pass. Run <laughs> he come out like somewhat fast. 
he probably the second or third read. So it's like, oh, he's not too excited about it. But so when he shoot out, yeah. he like, mm, start messing with his glove and stuff. Oh, he getting the ball. <laughs> so that's when I'm always trying to be ready now. <laughs> You have to know your opponent. I always tell my guy, know your opponent before you go in that game. What type of receiver is he? Is he a receiver that's going to use his size, his speed? What's his routes? His routes going to be over. His routes going to be comebacks, hitches. You have to know these guys' routes. You have to break them guys down just as much as they breaking you down. He got to do that every time to get open. So what I do is I don't give him, I don't give him room to push off. I just go out of angle with him. Oh, he's the come play back. right here. Come back. Count the steps. Right. You're, you're wait, wow. You're counting the steps? He's counting the steps. He is. How do you know? Um, he's not exploding up the ball. Mm. I can feel him counting the steps because when I'm running with him, he's not being aggressive enough. He's not trying to run past me. So by you not trying to run past, I'm, oh, I know it's, you're either doing a, a comeback or a hitch, or you come in, you're going to try to cut, undercut me and go back in. Dave, this is about as good a shadow yeah. as you can get right here. I mean, you are completely in lockstep. When he breaks down, you're breaking down. I mean, it is a mirror of each other. And I'm really upset with myself because I slipped at the top of the route. Uh -huh. I'm, yeah, and that was an interception. Right there. Ah. Because you're right, look, you're right, right there. there. Yeah, and you lose it just for a second. Right yeah. Hey, boy, DJ, fast. Oh Lord, have mercy. It's interesting. Even though it's Deshaun, you still try to get a hand on him. Mm -hmm. Like you want to, you want to try to redirect down. it. Yeah. Hey. You're gonna see nothing but ass and elbows, boy. That was funny. That boy was running. Boy. But you gotta press him, though. You gotta press him. That, he fast, boy. He fast. I know at that moment, his release told me the route. He went wide. His yeah, middle was taking him forward. You can't stop on a dime. You're too, first, you're too fast. So it's hard for a receiver or anybody to run full speed and be that fast to stop the momentum and drop their weight and come back down. It's really hard. So that's why I say he ain't counting step. You see the difference between the two is Mike Evans and come out. He ain't burst. He took us, he took a second and he was like counting step where he just took off. Yeah. Head down, he yeah. just gone. So I'm like, oh yeah. The first three yards for me. Determines the route. So gotcha. right, right there, just a brace. You're, you're on yes. his hip and he's mm -hmm. running with him. Yes. Yeah. He made it easy for him. Mm -hmm. You just got to open up and go. Gotta open up yeah. and go. Yeah. And that's why I was saying, I cannot let him get on top of me. <laughs>
Mm -hmm. You have to teach them all these things. Hey, you know, yes. this is big boy football now. Yes. You know, you better you better get the clicker out. You better study that guy. You better mm -hmm. know everything about it. Every, uh, everything. And I tell them, guys, you know, it helps you. It helps you because if you go out there and you just play football, it makes your job a lot harder. This outside zone here, everybody runs this concept. Mm -hmm. And they're just trying to get some real estate here. Can you see the outside receiver right there? Yes. And you kind of know what's coming. I know it's coming. I know it's going to be a good route. Use the sideline as a defender, as my help. That's your technique. Mm -hmm. This is a man turn right here. Mm -hmm. So are you now just looking at his eyes? Or when his hands go up, then you're looking to strip yes. here? Mm -hmm. My thing is once they look and they, it's, it's, it's a second, it's a moment type thing, you know the ball coming. You look at their eyes and then it, it, it happens so fast, you know, because, you know, football is, is, is all about timing. Mm -hmm. So once that time happened, his eyes get like, I think it's, it's, it's more than me, it's big, and I didn't get that big eyes. I know the ball is coming sometime soon. You actually can see that, yes. the eyes. Yes, like and that. then once, I, once that happened, that's when I look back for the ball. Wow. Yeah. This is a great play right here. So you play Green Bay, you get Devontae. Oof. Ooh. He's he's got better, better. Ooh. Hasn't he? Oh my god, yes. He's got, he just keeps getting better. Oh man. Oh. Tell tell, give it away. What what is what's the give here? Motion. The motion give it away. They motion on the other side to get here, and then he's not all the way set. Mm -hmm. So I know he's going to the flat. I can see him from my peripheral. Passes left, ball tipped in the air, intercepted! So you can see him out of, out of your periphery here, Xavier, mm -hmm. but you also are honoring Devontae. Mm -hmm. Do you see the ball come out? No. You don't? Because mm -hmm. you're locked in right here. Mm -hmm. So now it's just a reaction? Just a reaction. Wow. Isn't it hard, Xavier, if you're locked up with these guys, mm -hmm. to come up with a lot of interceptions? You're not playing a lot of off-zone seeing yeah. a lot of you're not getting a lot of tips like this because honestly when you're playing man you're you're, you're literally watching that man mm -hmm. you, you're man coverage you're watching him and it's hard to play the ball when you're not looking at the ball mm -hmm. so at that moment that's why i try to um get my head around as fast as i can but also try to cover my guy mm -hmm. but what a great job by mackenzie alexander to anticipate the play get in there get the ball batted up and xavier rose johnny on the spot your film study, your preparation, mm -hmm. knowing their tendencies. Mm -hmm. Pre-snap, you got it. Yep. Hey, what that technique down there? You pull, what you pull right here? Yeah. What I was? <laughs> boy, your ass got some technique, boy. You ain't show me that this summer. What you pull me right here? <laughs> hey, get your ass out of here. Xavier, you play for a guy, Mike Zimmer, mm -hmm. who coached defensive backs for a long time. On the slot, we're getting a wheel with this guy. Right here, Brock, okay, on the slide, all right? The turn in with the wheel on this guy. That's the guy he wants to try and hit. Yeah. Was a defensive coordinator. Mm -hmm. He coaches hard. Yes. Is that a good thing for you? Oh, yes. As, that, as your head coach? Because you know what you're getting from him. Come on, Zave. Let me see what you're doing. Here, I got, I got you. He might hurt you, coach. Get out the way. <laughs> I need some exercise today. What for are you going to jab with? Okay, that's so all I want you to do is jab, right? Jab, good. Ah, don't hop. Just like this, shuffle, bam, okay? Just a push and a shuffle. Xavier, you're pretty consistent when you're in this press position, kind of a hop step back. Are you taught that first step? Just yes. to just get a little cushion, get, get breathe the route? Get, get my feet moving, yep. get it hot. Get on the balls, get on the inside. Are you on the inside part of your feet right here? And then whatever foot you're going to jab with, you know, put, put a little bit more weight on your opposite. Which one are you jabbing with? Okay, put more weight on your right foot, not as much on your left. See what I mean? Can you feel, you know, if I'm going to jab, if I'm going to jab with this foot, right, I want to have, I want to have more weight, more weight uh, on this foot right here, right there, right? Okay. It's hard to have your feet in the ground and move laterally or do anything. So once I get my feet high and get it moving, I'm able to move laterally more fluently. Light on your feet, babe. Mm -hmm. and balls of your feet, feet. nice and light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, looking light. good, baby. Light, huh? Yeah, that would look good. <laughs> Just like you're playing basketball.
Have you ever used that jam? Get up there and just yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, all the time. Yeah, I know you like that. Yeah, I love that. And Xavier Rhodes, roads are closed, baby. Take us through it here. So I know he's a big physical guy. I know that's what he want to do. And my thing is, I want to get physical with him too. Max physicality. There's a, there's a, a one-handed jam. Mm -hmm. Quick jam. Yeah, quick jam. You got to change it up. Mm -hmm. Can't do the same thing over and over. Going against uh, Jordy Nelson when he was at the Green Bay. Mm -hmm. It seemed like he knew everything I was doing. <laughs> like, he knew what hand I was shooting, when I was going to shoot it. Like, he knew everything. And you it, got a scout report on yeah, you, too. Yeah, I know. So, <laughs> yeah. just like you watch them, they watch mm -hmm. you. That's when I realized I have to change my game. I can't give them the same thing. So, and that's, that's when the quick jam came in. Blanketed beautifully by Xavier Rhodes. Die! Yeah. We're not trying to kill us, we're trying to control him. Okay. When we, we, we stick him, we want to put our hand right here. Yep. Now run. See, I still got you, but if I go like this and I miss, or punch my hand, punch my hand. Yeah, like a receiver does, punch, hard. Then you're gonna be by me. Okay. All you're trying to do is control him with my thumb down just like that. Okay. Being physical and getting the receiver off the route and, and interrupting the timing is what Xavier Rhodes does so well. I really believe the hardest position to play in the NFL, mentally, is the corner position. Because hmm? you're, you're covering world-class athletes, and you are one of them, but you're covering them every single play. And you're going to get beat every now and then. How did you develop that mentality that every once in a while, you're going to get beat, yes. you got to forget about it and go back? Hey, I like that scheme. I like the scheme. Honestly, in the beginning, it's pretty hard, you know, because as a, as a competitor, you don't want to lose. You want to win every play. And you have to realize in this game, you know, the guy you, that's going against you is going to beat you sometimes. You know, but my whole mentality is I'm going to win more than you beat me. I'm going to win more than, than you. So if I win more than you and I have that mentality that at the end of the game and the game is on the line, I'm going to be the one that's on top. Mm. This play here, I knew he was going in mm -hmm. because the, the split. He was plus the like three or four. Mm -hmm. If he do an outside route, I'm basically going to use the sideline. Mm -hmm. So I knew he was going in. Xavier, I, I love the fact that you spoke about splits. Because mm -hmm. splits are a tell mm -hmm. where they're lining up. Mm -hmm. I would imagine through your film study, a lot of times you just said, hey, you know the route that's coming because he lined up out, you know, wider than his, norm, than his normal split. Mm -hmm. So in your film preparation, your pregame preparation, yes. are you at this point on, hey, I kind of know what's coming? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Down the distance, you see the split. It took me a long time to pick that up. Um, my first, I think my first two years, it was pretty difficult after that. It just, it just starting to come to me. You starting to see it, the game starting to slow down for you. You got Mike Evans down here at the bottom. Mm -hmm. You're a plate off. That's one of the routes they knew that he was going to use his body against me. Mm -hmm. Me being a vet at that moment, I should have known they were going to put me in a cut split and mm -hmm. they were going to throw the glance route. That's what teams do to me now. They try to put me in cut split and get me off press. So cut split is you're now inside, the, numbers inside, the, inside numbers. the numbers. Inside the numbers. Inside the numbers, okay. So I should have known it was going to be a glance route, and I should have, like, been more patient and broke on the route. But at that moment, I knew they were trying to use him to try to block me away from the ball. They're trying to get me off press. They're trying to get me off press. Running stacks. Stacks, clusters. Yep. Yep. Having him down there like a tight end. You, do you know the route right now? from this slot right here? Yep. I knew it was going to be a slant because they have Alvin outside, and then they realized the, uh, the linebacker was out there, so they knew it was man, man coverage. They have Alvin out, and he's plus. OK. So by doing that, I knew it was either going to be two routes. 
is gonna be the slant, the get away from, give away from my leverage, cause you know I'm gonna be outside leverage. Mm -hmm. Or it's gonna be a seven. He's gonna pump fake like he's going on a, a post and break it and undercut me. But this play right here, when you come underneath it right here, you feel like you can, with your long arms right there, yes. you get, you're gonna get it like you do. Get it. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Dump over the middle, incomplete, knocked away at the 40. They focused on Michael Thomas, and X marked the spot on that play. Everyone is talented on that field. Mm -hmm. It's all about, is you smarter? Do you, do you know your homework you know, on that guy? Like my coach, I always say, you don't want to go to a test and not study and think you're going to pass. You know, it's, it's, no, you're not going to do that. Mm -hmm. you wanna, we give you the answers. We give you the book. Only thing you have to do is open it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The only thing I have to do is open it. And, and I, I never understood until now to the point where, all right, if I press and put my code in my iPad and just sit here and watch at least 30 minutes of film, I would, have, I would get all the answers to the quiz, to, so the, to the, the test. The, the game's getting easier? Yeah. It's not getting easier. It's starting to slow down slow for down. me. Passes over the middle, incomplete. Knocked away beautifully. There are not many corners in this league that can make that play that Xavier Rhodes just did. Roads are closed. Roads, roads are closed. We got a road written right here. Roads That's are closed. It. <laughs> Look, Xavier, awesome, thank, man. Thank you. That was thanks, man. Thank you. thank you so much yeah. for your time, man. We learned thank a lot you. today. Thanks for having me. Yeah.